If you're a family member or friend and you have concern about someone you know that they may have Alzheimer's disease, the first person to talk to is actually them, them themselves and ask the individual if they are concerned about their memory. The next person to talk about would be the local medical practitioner. There are a number of issues, uh, health issues, that can present as Alzheimer's disease that aren't in fact a dementia and these are medical conditions that can be easily corrected with appropriate medical treatment. It is helpful when you go to a doctor if you've got concerns about Alzheimer's disease to clearly document the kind of difficulties that someone is having, when you thought the difficulties started and that is a key thing about dementia because it's a progressively deteriorating condition. So what the doctor needs to know is how long the difficulties have been going on for and whether things have been getting worse. The best way to diagnose possible Alzheimer's disease or probable Alzheimer's disease is by looking at someone's capacity to complete neuropsychological tests. So people look at memory and problem solving and language to determine whether the difficulties are within the normal range for the age or whether in fact the difficulties are very pronounced and someone has significant impairments. A definitive diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease is not possible because of the nature of the brain pathology, which can only be confirmed at autopsy. So it is likely that a person with um, Alzheimer's disease is referred to as having probable Alzheimer's disease. All these assessments take time, so it can be several weeks or even months before a clear diagnosis is made, and that can cause a lot of anxiety. However, it's really important to make a diagnosis as soon as you can, particularly since there are some conditions that aren't in fact Alzheimer's disease and that just require immediate medical treatment. Mm -hmm.